let's take a look at the Ladakhi toilet. This one is a modified version with two chambers, unlike the traditional one, which only has one chamber. So here you can see two lids covering two holes, both of which lead to the same chamber. And the second chamber is beneath us. So you can't see it right now because it has been sealed. So we can take a look at how we can use this toilet. First things first, always close the door. And now we can choose which hole we wish to use. We can use this one or this one. Let's say I wish to use this one. So you take the lid off. And then you can just squat over this and do your business. Let the pee and poo fall into the same hole. So if you take a look inside, what you'll see is a big mound of poo covered with cover material, which in this case is mud along with some biomass. So once you've finished doing your job, you can wipe your backside with either newspaper or toilet paper. Traditionally it could have also been stones or leaves. And then you can take the shovel and take some cover material, more than what I'm showing right now, and cover up what you've just done. This ensures that there'll be no flies or no stench after anybody has used the toilet. And then you can put the lid back on. So in this toilet you have two options because a lot of people use this toilet so the chamber is bigger than usual. And once this chamber fills up, which will take a year, you can seal this part up and uncover the other side which can then be used for the other year. So this is the toilet which you just saw, exactly under which are two doors. These are doors which open to the chambers which we just saw. So this is the chamber which is being used right now. And this is the chamber which is already full and has been sealed for one entire year. And by the time we open the chamber, the contents will be safe to handle. Here you can also see a fly trap. So this is a hole in the door with a bottle attached to it. Because this is the only source of light that the flies can see if they go inside the chamber. And then they try to escape out of this place, which they can't. And hence you can see flies inside and also a lot of dead flies. So this ensures that vectors such as flies don't spread pathogens around.